Hello, my name is Vishing. This is my second video for my channel. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and learn about something about it. Today we're going to talk about video cable, but I am going to talk more on HD video cable, video cable for HD, the one that commonly used and commonly compare. So today I'm going to compare two type of cable. One is HDMI. The other one was SDI. These are two very common cable that were available market. So I'm going to talk about the pro and the con. We will discuss about it. But before that, we need to talk about the background. The background of the both this cable, the and the functionality of the, this both cable. The first cable I need to talk about is SDI. SDI is actually means serial digital interface and SDI is based on coaxial cable, a normal video cable that is actually been around more than 100 years ago. All right. uh, the, our original composite cable is also coaxial cable all right. and it put the head called BMC. BMC connector was uh, been around since 1951. Right. These two combined been standardized by a group named SMPTE, well, the Society of Motion Pictures and Television Engineer. This is actually a US based engineer group that involved in the TV and movie industry. So in 1989, they came up with SDI. SDI means this cable can pass through video and audio together embedded in this cable and the signal inside is uncaptured and uncompressed. Uh, now this call now we call this as HD SDI. HD SDI means it also means that it's a digital signal ascending through here. SDI usually available only on professional equipment or broadcast equipment. This because of the licensing behind the SDI that is only res is restricted the usage of this usage because the quality of the video sending pro from SDI from one point to the other point are ruthless. In other words, there's no loss in quality from A to B. Previously, analog signal will have maybe 7 to 10% loss when you transfer to another devices. But SDI has no loss in it. It's pure digital and point to point. All right. Then SDI is also a single pin. Inside there is a single pin. Okay. And the standard in SDI is actually just plain SDI, a normal SDI for it's a digital use signal that transfer but the, the video signal and audio signal is analog. Then we have a HD SDI which is able to support up to 1080i. Okay. Uh, then we also have 3G SDI which is able to support P and stereoscope video. And now we have also have 6G and 12G. These two can able to handle 4K and above. So SDI connector have two types. One this normal one and the other one is the mini SDI, a smaller type. So in short, SDI was designed by professional for professional. Next, HDMI. HDMI is actually means High definition multimedia interface. It was created by a group called HDMI Founder on December 2002. Most of the founder is a TV manufacturer, except one, a company called Silicon Image. It's designed for digital TV, computer monitor, game box, and video projector. HDMI was based on DVI, 
interface with a three design by silicon image to replace VGA in 1999. That's why if you use a DVI devices and you get a head changer and connect to HDMI, there's no loss because the quality is the same. HDMI found in consumer and prosumer products like video camera, steel camera, which include the DSLR, computers, projector, TV box, gaming box, mobile phone, tablet, and many other things. HDMI have 19 pin compared to SDI is only one pin. So then HDMI standard is actually HDMI 1.0, HDMI 1.4A, and 2.0. Basically, 1.4A is for uh, full HD, whereas 2.0 is for 4K and above. HDMI connector has three type of connector. HDMI type A, which is a normal HDMI, then there's another called HDMI Type C, which is can call mini HDMI, and the third one is called HDMI Type D, which is for micro HDMI. To be more easy to understand, micro HDMI is generally found in handphone or tablet or anything that needs a small head. Where else mini HDMI is more for for camera side, all right. But when we talk about standard HDMI, is easily found on TV, projectors, and a lot of things. That space is not a big issue. Okay, HDMI have additional features. They call the feature called HDCP. HDCP means high bandwidth digital content protection. It's actually created to prevent illegal copying and duplication. Okay, let's talk about the pro and the con on SDI. Let's talk about the pro first. The pro of SDI is a very mature technology. In other words, it's very stable and reliable. It's used by professional worldwide. And then the cost is quite reasonable. Okay. Then Let's talk about the cable length. SDI cable, event, one of the biggest advantage is the cable length can go up to 100 meter. I'm referring 100 meter is referring to the reasonable price point of view. Right? You can actually get 300 meters or even one kilometer or more, but the cost of the cable per meter went up tremendously accordingly. So let's. I'm referring to more reasonable price, thousand plus per one hundred meter cable. So SDI is more reasonable price in this aspect. Okay. Then SDI have BMC connector. BMC connector will assure you to lock the cable to the device. So when you lock it, then you will no worry about being accidentally pulled or kick, and the connection still stay as it is. Another reason about the pro of the SDI is flexibility. SDI do not have HDCP, so the uncompressed signal together with audio, once you connect, immediately run. There's no delay for HTTP to talk to the device. It just go through. Then another reason, because both audio and video in SDI signal have time code. Time code will assure you there's no audio and video not sync. That means they're always in the sync all the time. Then. SDI is also future ready because it's able to support 4K and 8K. You just need to get the right cable for it. What's the disadvantage of SDI? 
the disadvantage of STI is limited device and this device is quite expensive Be this because SDI product is always a professional product For professional product is always very expensive just a good example you buy a video camera whether it's a Sony, Canon, Panasonic other brand if that camera has SDI versus with another identical model without SDI the price factor different maybe like 2000 to 5000 ringgit so this is one of the weak point about SDI let's talk about HDMI let's the pro about HDMI the advantage of a HDMI is you can find it anywhere it's easily find it in computers notebook switcher cameras and many other things Another advantage of HDMI is this HDCP. This will protect the video content to be illegal duplicate along the way. Better still, HDMI is also future proof. It's already ready to support 4K, 6K and 8K. What the disadvantage of HDMI? Number one, you cannot lock the HDMI. All right, so unlike S SDI, you can lock it. But outside in the market, on some professional products, you have a HDMI bracket that you can tie it to read, then you prevent it to be loose, easily loose. So it helps you to, to do it. Another thing about I don't like about HDMI is the head is quite big and bulky. In other words, if you connect to a certain device too long, the weight of the head will let, will pull down together with the cable, will pull it down. So it will actually misalign the pin in long term. So that's why some professional products like from data video they have the bracket to hold it include the head to bear with the, the, the weight of it so it can last longer then HDMI has another disadvantage the longest single cable you can use is 20 meter right. yes you can still get 50 meter 100 meter cable but the price factor went up Maybe in future it will drop down, but currently, for the same price of buying SDI cable 100 meter, you're buying a shorter cable for HDMI. Another disadvantage about HDMI is the HDCP. HDCP means that your devices when you connect to must have complying with HDCP if you don't comply there will be no signal will go through one disadvantage of HDMI is there's some delay to show the video signal give you an example you look at your TV you have a HDMI 1, 2, 3 maybe when you switch from HDMI 1 and 2 there's roughly one second more or less delay before it switch the next one why this happen? This happened because HTCP need to check whether the the uh, the other side is compliant with it. After you check, you need to also check whether what type of video resolution or frame rate is supported. Only after that, there will be a handshake and the signal will go through. That's why HTMI have this delay. Likewise, I mentioned earlier, HTMI hit was big and bulky why because and every HDMI cable head there is actually a chip in there so these are the comparison the pro and the con between HDI and HDMI I would not say which is better because both have their advantages and disadvantages for example for normal people HDMI 
quality looks better because all the video signal that go through will automatic have slightly increase of saturation in other words a bit more red a bit more black and looks sharper looks more nice whereas SDI because it's able to support with with a throughput as it is because professional camera can record it with slightly lower gamma in other words I can see more detail that for editing purposes was beautiful because I can actually increase the contrast decrease the contrast or play around with the color to make it a better video or better movie or better dramas for you both HDMI and SDI have their strength and weakness both are designed for specifically a certain requirement so HDMI advantage more devices can be used even a professional product SDI advantage the cable can go long far so for like buildings like church or whatever I can easily 100 meter a single cable to lay out far where else HDMI ideal for youtuber or a smaller church with the between the recorder and the camera was a very short distance it's not a big issue all right that's all for today for the comparison video cable comparison between HDMI and SDI I hope you enjoyed it I hope it's very informative uh, but if you have more inquiries or questions please email me I would I would do my best to help you all right that's all for today thank you very much and God bless